Hey, welcome back. We're uh, going to pull some more orders here. Got, uh, it's Tuesday night, so Monday and Tuesday sales. We have right now 12 items that sold for $197. And a third one just sold, but or a 13th one just sold. The waiting for them to pay. It looks like they may be paid just now. Let's hit refresh here. It still says 12 items for some reason, but the sold value went up. I guess because it just happened. I don't know. It hasn't figured it out yet. Um, but we're at 207 now and 13 items. Um, two of them aren't going to be in the video for pulling because I almost forgot to ship them out and I had to do it real quick before we headed out this morning to go do something else. Uh, it was a hero, a hero clicks for 15 plus shipping and then a, a CD for like 14 something plus shipping. So 2673 right on this side. Oh, we got Pride and Prejudice music from the motion picture. Um, with the crack in the case. Yep. And that sold for that sold for three forty nine. And the one that just sold is thirty seven forty five. Let's see where that is. Uh, Michael J Harris in Christ Alone. And that one sold four and a half. I think I just sent an offer on that and that's why I just sold. Uh, four and a half dollars plus shipping. We got a candle. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know. That's a dumb. That's a dumb title. I guess I didn't have much to go off of. I don't know. Let's see. Party light candle, red scent 1510. <sighs> that's what I titled it. Is that what it actually is? No, so this box is for... I, I pictured it without the box, but I wanted somewhere to store it better than a loose candle. The box is for a vanilla. I guess I didn't know what this smelled like, so... I just put the color and... Yeah, it's got the scent down here. It doesn't tell you what it smells like down here either. It's just 1510, so... Let me see if I can figure it out. Nope, I don't know. Mm, it smells like red. So yeah, anyway, the red candle, it's obviously been burnt a little bit. And that sold for eight bucks, I think. Uh, yeah, $7.99 plus shipping. $3.51, right here. Oh, somebody was asking about these. Um, they sent an uh, email to, to an email I made up for YouTube um, about how it was done. So it is uh, command hooks, it's like medium sized clear command hooks. You can use probably whatever size you want, I guess. And then because it's such a big stretch and these things weigh it down, I got a little one to put in here. And then it's just gray string. I think I have them right here. Um, well, here's the clips. I wanted something that could. Uh, I don't. I don't put the string through this hole. I guess I could since I don't. I have a set amount on there, um, but it just goes through the bottom part of the clip right here, the big hole, so it can slide back and forth while it's got the bag gripped. Um, so just metal clippies from Amazon. I don't know where the string is, but I think it's inside. But it's just string. It's just just gray string. And then here, I see I made a loop and then a slip knot so that once I got it on there, I could tighten it up. And then I did like a clove hitch or a two half hitch or whatever to finish it off here so it couldn't slip back down. And the last couple are able to slip over the knots. Not like super easy, but there you go. And I got 25 bags per strip. Oh, except that bottom one there because I put a file cabinet in front of it. So yeah, that's that system. Now let's look at what we sold here. Oh, we have a Brute Stalker. Another Halo enemy guy there. Stalk, brute Stalker with a Spiker rifle. 
And that guy sold for nine dollars plus shipping. So he's not too bad. Uh, so we sold two two of these in the last couple days, and we sold some of our own vacation. So that's cool. They're moving. Uh, I need to start processing more of them and getting them listed again. I have way too many there. It's yeah, it was not a great buy, but I need to get them listed so I can get rid of them. Okay, so we have um, some Ford emblems. Let's see, I sent an offer out on these. Yeah, so we sent an offer out on these and uh, I guess they accepted it and it was an international sale. I, so it sold for $23.79 um, plus shipping, I'm pretty sure. A, no, free shipping. Anyway, $23.79 free shipping. We paid two bucks a piece for these at last year's 127. So we're four dollars into that set. Sold it for 23. And I think it costs four. Well, yeah, usually we write around four dollars to ship it. So took an offer on these. I could have made more money if I was if I waited to sell them individually or even sent a counter, but. Um, I had these listed for 12 and we've been selling a couple here and there uh, Anywhere from 8 to $12 um, And I just got an offer earlier today for all four of them for seven bucks a piece for these little troll dolls And I figured I would just be done with it And uh, just get rid of them now So I did a little calculating and if if I sold them all if I accepted eight dollar offers Which I've been accepting anyway by the time I sold them I'd make like five more dollars of course, some of them could have sold for 12 bucks full asking price, which I think one did, and then another one sold for 10. So I'm missing out on a few bucks, but you know, they're all gone. It's all one shipment, and that was $28 for some dumb little troll doll things. So I mean, it's not dumb if you like them, I guess, but they're, uh, I wouldn't pay that for them. $32.43. Speaking of dumb things to spend money on, we have. Not this, the Live Adventures of the Water Boys CD that sold for sixteen nineteen plus shipping. Yeah, it's dumb things to spend money on. Um, we've had some Guitar Hero Rock Band guitars sitting in uh, our death pile for probably close to two years now, a year and a half anyway. And I decided to look at them today because it was Gideon's first day uh, in daycare. So I had some extra time and was trying to actually go through some stuff like that and get it prepped to list. Anyway, we have five of them. One of them is kind of, eh, it's all right. I think it was like around somewhere in $30 or so. Um, two of them are pretty good, like 50 to 70 And then two of them are the exact same model number. They're uh, Rock Band 4, PS4 Rock Band 4 Fender black ones and those are stupid like uh, i wonder if i still have it pulled up here well so on on ebay i think they sell for around 170 dollars which is just dumb anyway oh it's not here let me see okay so here i'm pulling it up on the uh on the amazon seller app because i unlocked my account i owed them like two bucks or something but i didn't want to unlock it because they wouldn't tell me how much i owed them in fees um because i just abandoned all my inventory and i put a expired credit card or an expired um, payment card on there and then we changed our bank accounts so they didn't have any way to charge me so, so they locked me out and this was during covid so i didn't know they weren't disposing of my inventory like i was asking them to and so they just kept charging me all the time for storage and i was getting tired of it so i just locked myself out of my account anyway there's only two bucks so they, i called them and i emailed them well i couldn't call them you can't call amazon it's stupid but i emailed them back and forth and they're like yeah you gotta you gotta put a payment plan a payment method on and then we can tell you what you owe i'm like well that's dumb what if i owe you 200 dollars? so now i have access to it again and then i went on here to look for the for this fender ps4 rock band 4 guitar and it said i needed approval so i clicked uh request approval and i instantly like automatically got approved to sell it so i can sell it here um let's see if you can see maybe not it says the low price for a used is 318 um, and that's FBA offers. I'm not going to do it FBA if I send it to Amazon. Well, I'm not going to send it. If I do Amazon, I'm not going to do it FBA. I don't want to do that anymore. Um, but the lowest used is 243 plus four shipping. So whatever. So I just punched in. Let's say I undercut them a little bit and do 230 Sorry, do $230 there. I don't really know if I can make that focus. So 
I'll tell you what it says. Two thirty. The fees would be thirty eight dollars. Let's say it costs fifteen to ship it. I'd make a hundred and eighty one dollars if I sold it for two hundred thirty dollars. Now I don't know on Amazon how to check like if you if you even can. I know there's add ons where you can check sell through how like how often something's selling and whatever, but. I'm not gonna pay for all those monthly subscription things again like I did in the past. To sell it for, to undercut everybody, I would still make more after fees and shipping um, than I can even list it for on eBay. So I think it's worth a shot. And I have two of those, so, and I paid a buck a piece. So that's crazy, we'll see. It doesn't, since I'm not gonna send it to Amazon for storage, I'm not gonna be paying storage fees, so it doesn't hurt to try, it would probably, if it's gonna sell, it'll probably sell better if it was FBA. I kind of want to try some Amazon again anyway with like sealed CDs and stuff. Um, just cause, just like right there, you make a lot more money. A fi uh, five or six dollar CD on Amazon or on eBay, uh, I could probably get 12, 15, 20 sometimes on Amazon. I don't know how long it takes to sell it, but anyway. Uh, we got this, it's broke. I didn't break it just now, it's been broke. It's a Swarovski Angel. I'm not gonna take it out of there because it's kind of annoying to get back in. I'll take this piece out. So here's the angel uh, torso and dress or skirt or whatever. So the arms and the wings and the hands are all broke off. And that's exactly how I pictured it. This is actually the second time selling this piece. Um, I sold it before and I think it was, I glued a couple pieces on and like a hand was off or something and the guy, the person got it. And they said, it's nothing like what it looked like in the pictures, like two other pieces are broken off. I'm like, well, sorry, man, this is from, like how old is this thing? All the glue is dried up, right? They weren't actually broke. The arms and stuff were just separated from the other pieces. I made sure to list it as obviously broke. And I took an offer for $22 plus nine shipping on it. Not bad for a broke Swarovski. Gets another big thing off my shelf. Yeah, so it's Tuesday. I didn't get a whole lot of work, like listing and eBay type work done today, which is unfortunate. But I got like some paperwork stuff, some uh, accounting, whatever, bookkeeping type work done. So I guess that's good. So it was a productive day, just not for listing. Tomorrow, hopefully I can get back at it. I went to Goodwill today to try and source a little since we were out. And that was a big bust. So no surprise there, I guess. I don't have very much luck at Goodwill. But we're running out of time for yard sales, so I gotta start trying to hit up the yard sales too. In the thrift stores maybe every once in a while. I don't know. I thought there was something else I was gonna say, but I guess not, so. That is all we have for these two days, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.